Right, welcome back to Imperator Rome in the, our Byzantium let's play. Last episode we finished off the war and expanded. M right now we're just waiting for the manpower to recover our truce with uh, Heraclea Pontica to end so we can expand further. Right now we're just building up the state or building up our cities, taking it easy, waiting for some time to tick. Meanwhile, we can. Uh, I'm gonna let time tick on while we check around the world. Rome seems to be at war with uh, a lot of people and they're actually losing here. So take Campania, actually they I think they declare war on Somnium or the Samnites to uh, take Campania here. And uh, uh, Samnium is uh, allied with Etruria and Lucania. Meaning they're on war on two fronts. Rome has 25 cohorts. They have 16. Wow, it really has 16. So this might be a war they're gonna have a hard time actually winning. Like they're outnumbered a lot here, so we'll see. Actually, one one playthrough I've been thinking about doing is actually playing is like one of the like Sicily or Siculia or something like that because I think it could be fun to have like a naval game right like just expanding on the islands taking like building up your fleet blocking off people from entering expanding here like protecting dropping a couple of troops while you protect this area and like just expanding to the sea like I think that can take areas like it like fighting like Phrygia even though you like you like 10 times smaller you have better fleet and like that I could be fun right but I might wait till they uh, for the next expansion when they're gonna they've actually for the expansion which is the Punic Wars which they're gonna expand uh, Sicily a lot so uh, I, don't, I don't know what exactly what they're gonna do but it should be fun something I'm looking to do at some point Heraclea Pontica wants to be my friend I do not need your friendship so Trace is actually something I do want to go at war with at some point here. The reason being that they're not that strong. Like they have 26 cohorts. That's something like, like we have 15, right? So we're not that far behind. And we, like, if they get embroiled like now, they're in another war. We could just pounce on them. The problem is that they're guaranteed by the Seleucid Empire and Egypt. So like hopefully like they pick up an alliance like Getya. I could attack Getya. Like I can ally uh, when I get a bit stronger, when we get a bit stronger, I can ally with Macedon, attack Getya, and we both go just wreck trace and then just white piece Getya. So I can expand here. The Olympic Games, like both of these people are complete trash. Look at these stats, like he has one marshal and one finesse and then and then it's just like, useless. This guy is not bad. He's the governor. If I want to get rid of him as the governor, then I could do that right now. So, let's see, do we have any... Do we have any uh, better choices is the question. I My faction is right now is mercantile. So, do we have any mercantile? Last we checked, we didn't have any better choice, unfortunately. So, yeah, we don't have any mercantile. So, we need more people, I think. Let's just send this guy you know if like worst case scenario he wins best case scenario i guess worst case he dies and who cares he's useless anyway right so let's see all right so this guy actually has a casus belle on ponti pontus hmm What would happen if I actually declare war on one of these? Okay, so it's Sinope would be that's Sinope's is uh, it's his overlord, so he's gonna defend, meaning he's gonna take Heraclea with him. Hmm. <laughs> Guess we're just waiting, waiting for truce timers, waiting for manpower recovery. Like, this is not gonna be a necessarily super fun episode to watch we're just gonna 
wait kicking up the speed wait see what happens pirates that's not good but I, that's what I can do I have one chip so do your stuff Iberia is getting wrecked by like everyone and their uncle what is that? We didn't win the Olympic Games what a surprise what a surprise small favor uh, morale boost uh, military get support I don't mind he's gonna be our next Archon so that's fine we have a Roman as an Archon that's okay right at court mm, Archon loses uh, popularity don't really mind so what I want to do right now is actually try to uh, snatch one of these guys I'm gonna try to befriend the uh, Alessandros because I want this guy to be my ruler I'm gonna bef try to befriend him again for these stats right if I can get this family into my to my realm that's gonna be fine that's that's be that's better than uh, than my trashy character I have right now so everyone likes gold that's that's true how much is the friendship of Alexandros worth a large amount sure I'm gonna send him some cash I think I want to put him in um, in charge of our armies I might try to actually make myself a dictator at that point if I make him appoint a dictator perhaps they can pass lifetime elections this guy is okay like he has uh, he's not amazing but he has okay stats i make him my dictator right while he's the dictator i uh, i work on this guy actually say fuck he's an admiral shit i can't recruit him then hmm that's not good <sighs> Political influence, Oof. moderate amount. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. Shit, he can't be, he can't be. I think I can't recruit him if he's a, ma if he's a, if he's an admiral. That's the problem. But I make friends with him and I try to recruit him when he, um, when he, uh, he's not an admiral anymore. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. So. Ne oh actually so like the guy died fell in battle like the the guy who usually it's uh the, usually the, usually the heir of macedonian throne he died in battle so it's probably gonna be this guy's the next guy so we'll pay some stability to make friends with him we can probably make friends with this guy as well maybe Yes, the Lysimachos, Blood of Lysimachos. This is actually really good as well. Executioner cost is not that great. But yeah. Egypt's bloodline is one. Like, that's so good. Like, I think it was even better before that wrong culture. Was it? I think it was a bit more. I think they nerfed it a bit. I think it was like 25 or something like that. It's insane. But uh, that research points, if ruler, I, it's so good. So good. So yeah, this can only be passed down paternally. So if we can somehow get a girl with these traits. Actually, no. how does she have it though? So we're friends with this guy now. That's fine. That's awesome. So, but how does she, if this can only be passed down paternally patrilinearly how does she have blood of antipatros does she have it she does not have it so i think that's some sort of bug or something but that's fine so we're friends with the, the admiral guy but we can't recruit him as long as he's the admiral perhaps if we inspire disloyalty We get ex aggressive expansion for that, which I don't think it's worth. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. We're just gonna wait. Hmm. So, I think I'm gonna actually promote 
uh, entice. Actually, I could see if I accidentally right clicked my inventions. That's why they're not popping up here. Uh, starting experience, tribesmen. I really don't like these tribes. There's like during your playthrough, you're gonna have a lot of tribal reserve or like plus five tribesmen output. Like, I don't want any tribes, so I usually try to avoid these. But you have to pick some of them to just refresh the table, right? So, Omen Power, Fabric. So I'm gonna take the Proxenoi. I'm gonna take the Proxenoi, so my neighbors like me. I'm, but I, I, I'm gonna entice business investment to get some more trading in. That's the only way to improve your. Like not the only way, but that's the best way to improve. So while we're doing that, we're gonna build another library. Actually, no, we're gonna build an academy. Another academy to promote these slaves and freedmen into citizens to increase our research ratio. Considering placing down a. Uh, Like a slave state here. Maybe I don't necessarily need it right now. Actually, maybe I should put it here. Like increase the our cloth making. The reason I want to take put it here is that this is uh, this is a lot bigger. But we, of course, we can just move the slaves to here. But yeah, we'll see. Actually. How much is that? If I put a, because this a cloth is really good. Like it's tax. Oh, sorry, it's tax and it's uh, it's. Uh, what's it, what do you get from exporting it? Isn't it research? Or it just each surplus in the province is five percent tax when exporting five percent research. So cloth is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here and then move my people here. In the meanwhile, actually, my silver shield is still going strong. Like he's still up there. He's still 73 years old and he's kicking ass. You know? Problem is, my truce is still like five years away. Yeah, kicking up speed just to wait. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna start my. Uh, I'm gonna build a slave estate here. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna. Mo I have to move like nine slaves here. I'm not gonna be here. For oh, the slave thing is done. So we have a scandal. Scandalous. Unfortunately, part of the average day in the Byzantine Senate. Ordinarily, we should simply ignore such petty squabbles. However, on this occasion, the esteemed Carasola Eptapotroid was found in in flagrante delictio with his lover Etela by his spouse Mucca. Mucca, the spouse overcome with despair has appealed to the senate to have Kersola Etrepodroid stripped of her of his office as punishment for his brazen public vice. Brazenly, this guy is complete a late shit. He doesn't have any. Actually, okay, who cares? Like, really, who does he even? Who is is Kersula? Kers he's something. He's something. But who? What is he? And what he is, he shouldn't be because he's shit. It's this guy. Oh, he has actually. He's, he's lobbying. Okay, 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 okay. So Caesar actually lost his position here due to this guy. So, huh? Actually, I, I don't mind removing him. Let's see. Do I have any military candidate to? No, of course we don't. Of course we don't. And all of them are shit. So I just want to remove him. Just to remove him. Just remove him, and we'll put someone else in, in charge. Do we have any religious guy? 
I'm gonna put a religious guy or I guess um, religious faction guy in, in power I think I think that's the best idea yeah I think I uh, actually take the last Archon yeah sure in the meanwhile we got a new import route in the capital we can import some livestock that's about it actually that's not that good but it's money so money is money I want these population uh, modifiers hmm. hemp would be nice don't I have hemp as well in my own province I think the need is hemp right oh. so increase that population that I can get extra hemp but hemp I don't think it's actually worth getting uh, no actually it's each surplus in capital ship damage done yeah sure that's fine but hmm is it worth going for now? I think actually I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the wood. Should I? Or vegetable? Move slave actually I could take two slaves so I can move slaves cheaper, which would increase which would make it so that I could move them here cheaper. But I can only have one right now. So I'm gonna take the wood. I'm gonna take the wood so I can make. I'm gonna have to rebuild my navy at some point. I'm gonna take some wood from Cyprus. So that's fine. That's fine. And our finance is actually looking really good right now. 6.52. So let's wait for that. Uh, Hercule Pontica has uh, fabricated. Oh, that, oh, that, sorry. Oh, that's our claim. Sorry, I was like, what the fuck happened? So, I'm gonna insult these guys. Hopefully, they will uh, attack me. I would like that. They're actually building a uh, mine here. What do they produce? They're producing iron. Oh, they actually, they have actually heavy, uh, heavy troops here. Hmm. So, they might not be a pushover. Did I increase my... No, I did not, so... Hmm. If he gets too disloyal, maybe they will remove him from command. Which, th what, which, th which uh, would allow me to recruit him. So... Ah, okay, now. Yeah. Now we get Caesar in power. He's an okay character. So... Should I pass any laws before the, the current ruler steps down? Let's see. Assembly of the soldiers. Endorse legislative body. Right now it's like monthly corruption. Fabricate claim cost. That's not that bad, actually. That's not that bad. Hmm. Assembly of the citizens. Monthly corruption. This one is like double-edged sword right because if you like you increase the monthly political influence that's that's great but at the same time populist fact populist faction is 15% uh, or like 15 dot point 15 stronger so if they get in power you get 10% less is it 10% I think it's 10% right uh, civic faction I don't mind having in power so I'm actually considering uh, I would get some uh, I would get some uh, tyranny from uh, actually doing that, but I don't mind tyranny that much. Because it's slave output and pop, as pop assimilation, which both are actually decent uh, things. That being said, let's check, check the maritime laws before. So, anti piracy, mercantile faction grows, import value. This is really good. National manpower recovery is also good, so but this is twenty five percent import value. But for now, I actually five percent. It's, it's like that's nothing right now. Like it's five percent. It's gonna be decreased by like five ma man per per day per month. So it's not that much. Maybe a bit more. But yeah, it's not that. It's not that significant. So. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Import 25. Isn't that amazing? Aren't we making all our money from import? Commerce. Should we change the law? Yeah, let's 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 change the. This I think we want. Actually, corruption. Mm. Yeah, let's just do the import. We're gonna get some corruption or tyranny. Sorry, but wealth levy. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. I think we're making. Uh, let's see, we're making six point eight right now. Maybe we should stab a pig as well. Stab, stab a pig. Where I don't recognize this button. So oh damn, it's expensive. So let's see at the month. Oh yeah, wow, it's almost a ducat already increased. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, now that changed the stuff as well. Because of the fact that we endorsed that law, the civic faction got stronger. But why did they? Why did Ionis lose prominence? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, let's let's see what's get a new ruler anytime now. So. Senatorial resistance. Disaselpis has proven to be a contentious candidate as Archon. Previously, an outspoken critic of the government, he was spoken of with contempt during meeting of the Senate. All were su surprised, therefore, when he was elected as the ruler of Byzantium, casting aside any notion of the property of class. With such overwhelmingly popularity among the elite sorry with such underwhelming popularity among the elite it's hard to see how these lipids will get anything done okay so he's he's not gonna have an easy time well i kind of want him gone as quick as possible as well so yeah they uh, they don't like me but i just changed the law before i changed the government so or the head of the state, so it's fine. I'm not gonna pass any laws for two years, that's okay. Alright. So. Need a new boy. We can have uh, this guy. So, next guy is Caesar. I think, because this guy is lobbying for his own faction, and they're getting up there, like. Uh, this is this. Yeah, they're on third place. It's at least but hmm, we're gonna leave it for now so all right i have a new blessing as well it usually coincides with our it's for five years so it usually coincides with our election so that's fine uh we have four thousand maybe i should again like i like the manpower but like if i take the manpower recovery that's like five six guys then like it's not a lot of recovery so we're not going to war for another five years so research needs to be increased but i think it's going to be increased by the fact that we're building buildings right now like we need to build libraries academies to increase the citizens we don't need so i think taxes is what we're gonna do even though we're making good money which we need to do we need to do, get, make good money hmm so I kind of want to go to war, take some more land, but this is the start with you starting a smaller nation. It's gonna not going to be the most exciting start, but it's so much more rewarding when you actually do get some 
you get some wind in your sail, so to speak. Still making decent money. Need to move people here when this is done. In the meanwhile, let's probably build another. Friedman doesn't like it here, but they should move to Calcedon anyway. Build another library, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna build another library here. So yeah, hmm. Phrygia is still at war with Egypt, still losing. Egypt is probably gonna take a little bit of a chunk. Maybe they're gonna take the coast here. See, are they in the risk of civil war? They're not at the moment, but they're not that strong. I mean, they have like a million vassals, so if I attack them, I'm gonna get like, stomped on, but hmm, if they get disloyal, then we'll see. So I think Macedon is expanding uh, into Greece. Actually, they're attacking this guy. Does that mean they're not allied? They usually start allied with these guys. Epirus. Epirus usually start allied with these guys. Rome. Yeah, they're at war with most of southern Italy. They uh, annihilated the... Uh, the last remnants of the Etrurian, the Etrurians here. They still have Corsica, which Carthage might take. We'll see. And they're still at war with southern Italy. So Rome is still, a, they're still growing, but they're, I don't know how they're still alive, but they, they are outnumbered greatly. But somehow they're they're hanging on. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna take a break here. Uh, hopefully, next episode we're gonna be able to take. These guys, we, we could already go to war with them if we wanted to actually. No, well, Virginia. yeah, that's here's allies. So we could go to war. Hmm. Yeah, we, I'm have to think about it. I have to think about it and we'll see in the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Sorry, this one wasn't that exciting. Nothing really happened. We just sat on our hands. As I said, that's sort of what you have to do. Wait and see for, we're looking for opportunities, right? Could expand, uh, take uh, Istros, maybe take him as a vassal, which would make take us war to Melitos, which we could take. Expanding further, maybe take uh, Crete, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, see you in the next episode.